Hey, cats and kittens, chicks and chickens, it's your buddy Mo Like It, and welcome to another edition of Mo's Half Assed Reviews. In this edition of Mo's Half Assed Review, we're going to take a look at the brand new free XP boat for only 750,000 free XP. You too can be the proud owner of this beautiful Tier 9 Soviet cruiser, the Kronstadt. This thing is ridiculous. It is a battleship. I don't give a damn what they say. It is a battleship. But because it's designated as a cruiser, you get all the benefits of a cruiser on a battleship. 30 second fires. Immune to Asashio Torps. Speed. Reload. Everything that you get from a cruiser in a badass battleship. It looks like a battleship. It's the size of a battleship. Everything about it screams, I am a battleship. But Russian Biased has designated this ship as a cruiser. And holy crap, is this a great boat. It is fun as hell. 71,050 hit points with an amazing torpedo belt at 34%. On a cruiser, 34% torpedo belt on a cruiser. The guns, oh the guns, nine 305 millimeter guns. You get a 16.3 second reload with the module and a 33 second 180 turn. Not the fastest turrets, but they're usable. A nice 24% fire chance with an 18.2 kilometer range. It's not bad at all. AA is a weakness on this boat. It's got guns, it just doesn't have a lot of AA. They do okay damage, there's just not a lot of them. I spec mine for AA because if there's a turret on my ship, I want to polish it. 35.2 knot speed. That's fast. It's got a battleship turning radius and a battleship rudder. It's not going to win any uh, circle turning guy, you know, contests here. 12.4 <laughs> concealment with the modules and captain skills. Not terrible, but that speed can really get you around the battlefield. Um, just don't expect to uh, be doing any tight maneuvering or torpedo beats. Now, with your uh, consumables, of course, you're going to premium up. You get your standard repair. Uh, you get your surveillance radar, that Russian surveillance radar with an 11.7 kilometer range. You get defensive fire or spotting aircraft. The Kronstadt does not get hydro. It does not get hydro. I can't hit a fucking thing with a spotting aircraft, so I don't put spotting aircrafts on much. But it's got it. As far as the uh, upgrades go, I took the reload to let those 305 millimeter guns sing as, as often as possible. Um, of course, concealment to use my stealth as best I can to disengage when needed. Um, I mean, that's just kind of how I felt it needed to be. You got to do concealment, right? Steering gears mod. Um, so even with the module, you again, 12 second rudder shift. It's got a battleship rudder, guys. I took the AA mod because AA sucks. I've got a special radar module, and of course, I'm going to put that on my right there, that special upgrade. And I did auxiliary because this is how I had this ship set up for the games, but I'm changing this to main armaments. You'll see in a couple of the later replays, you lose turrets often in this ship, it seems. It seems to be something that's uh, normal in this thing. As far as my captain, I've got my special Russian commander in here. So, of course, I'm going to take advantage of that better upgraded preventative maintenance so my modules don't get taken out as often. Of course, the um, boosted expert marksman so my turrets traverse a little faster. Um, I took basic firing training and advanced firing training. Again, AA is terrible. I wanted to polish the turd, and I finished it off with concealment. With my next points... I'm thinking, of course, the next two points I'm going to spend on Adrenaline Rush. And i it's got a really good fire chance at 24%. But I might think about going to Demo Expert. I don't know. I just haven't figured it out. But that's the Kronstadt. 
I've only played it a few times, and every time I've played it, I've had a blast. Buy the boat. If you've got the free XP or the money to buy the doubloons to convert, get this ship. Now, this is like the first game I ever played in the Kronstadt, and I'm pushing into the cap. I just want to see what this thing can do. At this point, I am still thinking I'm a cruiser. I'm thinking I'm going to be screwed if I get shot with anything important. I feel like any of these large caliber guns are going to just take me out like any cruiser would. And I'm pushing against a lot of ships. Boop. <laughs> get a nice little citadel on that Neptune. But eh, it's a Neptune. What are you going to do? But then it's like I start taking fire. You know, that was a salvo from a Missouri, and it didn't do anything to me. I've got the, the Neptune that's taking some shots, the Cleveland's taking some shots, i got a Buffalo that's taking a couple shots. I'm not taking any damage. I mean, I just kind of butt rushed into this cap a little bit against, what, one, two, three, four, like four or five ships? I didn't take any heat, man. I didn't hardly get hurt. And this is where I start realizing there might be something special about this ship. There might be something really special about this ship. Again, just not taking damage like you would expect a cruiser to take. Because this is not a cruiser. This is a battleship that Wargaming decided to give all the benefits of a cruiser. What a beautiful and wonderful free gift from Wargaming. 100% free if you just want to grind out the free XP. I mean, guys, get busy. If you need, if you're a little bit short and you need to get out, get them flags on, get them uh, camos on, do whatever it takes because you want this boat. I, my favorite tier 9 cruiser is probably the Rune. And I play it, and I play it well, and I love that ship. But after playing this ship just a few times, every time I'm playing it, having just fun, amazing games, this just might be skirting the edge of dethroning the rune in my heart at Tier 9 as far as what cruiser am I going to play. Look at that. I mean, I am taking hits. I'm taking damage. But I'm not getting deleted, and I've got plenty of hit points to spare. Plenty. Boop. <laughs> Another Citadel, but again, eh, Neptune. The guns hit well. They hit hard. The dispersion is really wonky. HE's good. AP's great. This is where I was like, I'm fucking dead. Look at this Missouri looking right at me. I'm flat broadside. Here it comes. <laughs> Look at that. Nothing. I took barely any damage from that guy. Here I am broadside-ish to this buffalo. I should have had frickin' AP loaded, and I didn't. But again, this was like the first game I was feeling this ship out. But I'm doing 5, 6, 4, 5, 6K with my HE. It's doing really good damage, but what, looking at the dispersion, you can see it's a little shotgunny. The shots have a tendency to go wherever they feel like going. So, depending on the amount of CVs I run into, I might be switching that AA upgrade to the aiming systems. Um, I'm just, I don't know, man. The, the dispersion leaves something to be desired, but when these shells hit, enough of them hit that it does enough damage to, to keep your damage total rising. And uh, nobody decided to shoot at this DD that was spotted for... I don't know, three and a half, four centuries out here in the fucking cap. But this team, you know, team problems, right? But you know what? This this little DD, I mean, my hat's off to you, sir. He baited me into his fucking torps like a boss. And because of, again, this thing is a battleship. It turns and it rudders like a battleship. You're not going to be doing many torpedo beats. As you can see, he baited me into his torpedoes. And there is nothing I can do. And down goes the Kronstadt. But you know what? 93k. Got some citadels. I started 
to be able to learn the ship. I started to see what it can do, and I was happy. And now let's have some fun and show you what this ship can really fucking do. I've got a Cleveland over here at low health. I'm in the middle of a cyclone. I know I'm spotted. I get my, I see a flash, and oh, fuck, it's a Missouri. But what happened? I didn't even get hurt. That was broadside to that Missouri. And I didn't. It, nothing happened. <laughs> this Cleveland is pestering me. And, you know, it doesn't have battleship secondaries. The secondaries do what they do. But this thing is just pestering me. I decide, screw it. I'm just going to take him out. Damn, he's done. Fine. Now I am up close and personal with a Missouri who's very healthy. <laughs> and I bounce everything. He can't fucking touch me. That's two salvos at inside eight kilometers that did absolutely nothing to him. And I am just going to butt rush him. He has decided that it is not worth it to try to shoot me. As you can see, he's turning his turrets away. He can do nothing. And let's just watch his hit points melt because he gives up on trying to shoot the Kronstadt. Now I'm up close, so I got to zoom out. Boop. <laughs> yes. Where, where, where have all his hit points gone? <laughs> I'm still full health. I mean, how many cruisers do you know can come around an island broadside to a Missouri, butt rush him, and the Missouri ends up dead, and you end up having really no loss of hit points? Now, later in the same game, we've got an Alsace, a Kronstadt, and a Tashkent left on their team, and we're only three ships left. And because of the hit point advantage that I hold, and because new ship seems to attract the most attention, I figure I'm going to just butt rush these three, keep them spotted, keep their attention, and hopefully we can get them dead and win this game. The Tash is getting some focus because he does need to die. I get a hit on him, but it's just eh, it's just not much. And I should have probably switched to HE against this Kronstadt because he's angled just a little bit. But I'm having decent success as far as the damage, damage output against his superstructure. So I want to keep on shooting that AP. I have really, really found no major reason to switch to HE at all times. You can see I'm lining up the superstructure. I'm doing okay damage. The thing is a fucking beast. He's tanking me just like I'm tanking him. And you can see again that this is where, again, watch those front turrets. Watch those turrets as they get focused. And you're going to notice that the enemy Kronstadt looks like he's got a dead turret as well. I get the Confederate. As I push forward, and, and I, I'm just not wanting to go around this island and get broadside to this Alsace. And you notice that one of my front turrets has been completely destroyed. This is a reoccurring theme with the Kronstadt, which is why I'm taking that auxiliary upgrade, auxiliary um, armament upgrade off of this thing and putting the main armaments back on because you do seem to lose turrets which kind of may be Wargaming's attempt to balance this ship I mean I just butt rushed a Kronstadt and Alsace and a Tashkent I didn't die 135,000 damage Confederate and Dreadnought some Citadels and an amazing story to tell my friends about the time I went after a Missouri and came out nearly unscathed. And now here it is, guys. The biggest guns in the game. Can a Yamato take out a Kronstadt one-on-one? -on -one? Of course, you can tell I sped up this footage because I'm chasing down a Yamato in a cruiser. A cruiser. Which is, again, proof that this is not a cruiser it is just a battleship with the benefits of a cruiser good AP doing good damage to him nothing crazy but I'm alive guys 
I am alive. Just trying to bow on to this guy. He's hitting into me. He's doing good damage, but I've got enough hit points. I've got enough armor. I am able to tank this Yamato. The biggest guns in the game. I decide to switch over to HE thinking that he's going to bow into me. And then, of course, what happens every time you switch over to HE? What happens, guys? He goes fucking broadside, asshole. But that's okay. That's all right. That's okay. Because I can load my AP. And I've got the reload where I'm going to be able to get another salvo off. And he's showing me that beautiful broadside. I'm giving him a little too much broadside. Look at that cheek. Let's give him a kiss. <laughs> I lived! I lived! But... <laughs> Kissed him right on that Yamato cheek for two Citadels and took him out. He d I, again, I lost one of my front turrets. But even with only two turrets, the Kronstadt, she is still deadly. As this Des Moines is just about to find out. Boop! <laughs> <laughs> what a ship guys buy the ship 750 free xp buy the ship it is a blast have fun in your battleship with cruiser benefits what a friend with benefits this ship is but thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe send me your fails your wins, your replays, anything worships worthy that you think I should see to mo replays at gmail.com. Nothing but love from Mo to you. Take care of yourselves, take care of your others. We'll see you out there in the seas, kids, and we will talk to you soon.